Happy New Year. This is the third day of January 2017, and I'm pretty excited about the video series that we're getting ready for you now. The videos that we're preparing now have to do with the release of the financial statements. Each year about this time, we hope to release a new edition of the financial statement. All of 2016, we've been working on the 2017 release of the financial statements. We have all kinds of cool things that it does that the old financial statements miss. We are more in compliant with the accounting manual. It has a lot of new features that make the statements look nicer and tidier. They're easier now to implement than before. And the most important things is that they're multilingual. We can have any language out there, and I'll show you all about that later. The purpose of this video is to get you motivated into setting them up yourself. The expectation of the current operating policy, or whatever you want to call it for SunPlus, is that every organization's controller or someone that the controller figures out, implements and brings in the latest financial statements. They may need to do this the first time with help from support, but what we want is everyone using the financial statements that match the year in which they're preparing financial reports. So that is that sometime during your slow season, you bring in the latest and greatest financial statements. And so we're releasing 2017's financial statements with these videos. And we hope these videos uh, successfully show you how to install it. But if they don't, we want you to work with support to get them installed. And we want you to do it every year. Every year, we've got new accounting rules that we're trying to comply with. We have uh, new innovations in the software, capabilities on our part, and all kinds of nifty stuff. In the past, we sort of followed a model that the financial statements are put in whenever the software is implemented. And they're just used for five or six or seven years before the division person shows up again. Well, that sort of stinks. What we want is you to have the latest and greatest every year. We don't expect you to implement it more than a year. So if we release it and then you implement it and then a little while later we release another edition, don't jump right on it. Just about once a year, we'd like for you to take a few days. It may take a few days for you to get it going. Take a few days to focus on getting the latest and greatest financial statements. This has several advantages besides having the latest rules complied with and the latest functionality. It also prevents your users from getting a sudden jolt if you go for a few years without implementing and then all of a sudden you implement a new financial statement. They're, they're shocked and they're confusion. If, if you take advantage of the slow incremental changes that happen when they're not shocked and no one is surprised that a new format of the financial statements. It also helps you discover problems in your accounting structure instead of one big gigantic rat's nest of, of, of confusion going on when you discover you've made lots of mistakes. If you implement the new financial statements every a year or so, you'll catch a configuration problem, say a, an account number put in the wrong location or something. And so we'd like to encourage you to just take some time, put in your calendar during your slow time, a few days for you to download the latest financial statements, look at the videos and implement it. And if you have any problems, contact support right away. In just a second, we'll go into looking at the new financial statements and some of the features, and then we'll start a series of videos that show you how to implement them. It's very quick, it's very short to implement, so um, I hope you really like them.